Hello my friends and welcome to Starcraft 2 Desert Strike Okay, um, 138 I'm not gonna share any uh, information with you because I don't have anything new and that's why we're going to jump straight into the next game what Alimento has sent to me um, another one versus one between Starlock and Elemento. Last game was, uh, yeah, Starlock. Who? No. Starlock win last game, right? Yeah, he win. Okay, in this game we have um, Starlock playing Zerg and I didn't see, I think Elemento playing Protoss, right? Yes. Okay, I think last game we were watching Elemento and this game, let's see Starlock. Enjoy the movie. Okay, uh, seems like both players are playing very similar um, with the Zerg race. No gas, pushing, getting middle, or hoping to get middle. What are you looking for, my friend? Look, this is what I'm talking about. What the hell, my friends? Do you remember uh, the game with Xalulai, uh, then the game maybe with uh, Elemento, the last game? I don't know, I repeated this really sometimes. Look, two seconds, 100 minerals. If you decided to push, my friend, then you push. You need to push. Imagine this guy, Elemento is Zerg. You will have like one roach less if he pushes now. Look, yeah, you, you can forget, for, forget about this roach now for the next wave i mean this can be this can decide sometimes the the game my friend um the uh okay not the game but the early game yeah one roach my friend you don't need to see imagine that uh if you wouldn't push and take gas wait check then Elemento would be blind. He, he don't know what the enemy is and he is not able to push blindly stalkers. I mean, he is, but it can end up very dangerous, you know? Again, my friend, look at this. 85 minerals. You have 5 seconds. What can you do with this? One roach, my friend. Where is the roach? Of course, no roach. See? That's why you lose versus fire a lot, my friend. <laughs> because you are doing something like... And then forget about... Uh... And again, my friend, what? Okay, you probably want to take us. Okay, all right, all right, all right. How did Elemento call this replay? I, I was uh, reading somewhere uh, Starlock uh, versus Elemento and then fuck somewhere. I need to check the name of this uh, of this replay later. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. We deciding to go Zerglings. Seems like Elemento is uh, like if I was certain I was probably thinking, okay, Starlock Elemento probably uh saving or taking gas. Second gas, sorry. So let's see the I mean there is no reason to be honest to you know wait as a protoss player you can just put stalkers and yeah 
I mean, that's really nothing special. Oh, maybe we can see some APM. Okay, true Desert Strike Grandmasters APM. Elemento supposed to win this game. 21 minutes? Hmm. I mean, race-wise. Okay, I would say this. If Elemento is sending me here two replays with where he loses, you know, then... Respect that you sent this. Because people usually want to stand in... Not in dark, but in, you know, in light. Sooner or later we will get to see the most common uh, effect in PvZ, and that is stacking stalkers. Aha. So you decide to do this. Well, you can... I can I can straight say that uh, you're going to lose middle sooner or later with Roach Queen. Yeah. I have something on my lips. But okay, no problems. See, my friends, this is the most common effect that uh, happens in PvZ. You put Stalkers, Stalkers stuck, Zerk loses middle, Protoss gets Colossus, Zerk dies in one second, uh, Zerk gets uh, Broodlords, thinks he can uh, surprise with, you know, Sell, uh, sell roaches, uh, sell links maybe, and then surprise with uh, brute uh, queens. But guess what? Protoss can do the same. He can sell also and uh, surprise with carriers. And then you're fucked, uh, like, uh, you know, sideways, anal, oral, frontal. <laughs> Like, you know, from, from each side. And you can just watch and, you know... And the roaches you can forget, my friend. This... Uh, it's a hard thing. When you lose middle... Then you can... Ah, maybe we get to see that uh, Roach Queen can beat this. I don't think so, to be honest. Yeah, there we go, my friends. Here we already... Look at this, my friends. Look. 65 seconds, 95 seconds, 95. So we have here two... Ah, oh, no, we have even here, um, like from third or fourth wave oh, from yeah it, it is from fourth wave i believe So I'm expecting sitting on three gas, okay, and I think he's on tier two. Uh, uh, okay, not yet. Okay. Ah no, sorry, I didn't see the the minute mark. He has uh, plus one and shields. Okay. 
I mean, not shields, this is uh, plasma shields. Yeah. Okay, hmm. okay, okay, okay. Um, if I was uh, Elemento, I would immediately add more Stalkers to not get overrun because your goal as a Protoss player is uh, to survive the early game and this you can do very good with mass stalkers you can also go tier 2 and add some immortals if you see too much of these roaches holy shit it works it seems like it works yeah my friends now you can copy this uh, yeah sometimes I, I used i used to the you know i used to the happening that uh, i get copied usually you know and xalwe as well i just want to mention this uh, xalwe gets copied as well uh, but here you can for example see what we have 16 roaches four queens yeah and then depending on situation some some links seems to work to be honest okay i mean seems to work to remain uh middle let me quickly see is it possible that he is not spending his money no he's spending his money okay So Elemento should, yeah, on the planetary fortress you, okay, this looks already very good for Elemento, he can think about transferring to tier 2, tier 3, and make, I mean he needs to decide himself what to make, but... I would probably make, um, it's only four co queens, you know, I, I you, you need to see on yourself because uh, first you need to see when do you have tier three done and uh, he upgrades everything, okay, okay, I mean, uh, <laughs> See, it doesn't work. Um, I wouldn't, to be honest, I wouldn't play like this. I mean, maybe it seems to work, but in real, it doesn't. So what would you think about if you, you know, you know what I would do? I mean, since if we were here, let's let's go back again in time. I mean, here, 10 minutes. You have uh, full control of middle. I would probably try Hydras then. Because uh, Hydras are offensive unit and since you have middle, you, can, you could try them out, I think. Because Hydras they do not allow stalkers to stack because of the high damage per second so stalkers wouldn't stack here but then of course you have uh, then uh, delayed brute lots You need to think about it. I cannot, uh, you know, answer this right now spontaneously. So where we were, where, where, where we were, <laughs> yes, two different wheres, where like place and I was, I, you were, he, he was, we were. Okay, let's um, stop here and go normal. Yeah. 
This element over massing with stalker, so yeah, he is. A bit. Not too much. I would uh, make Kirio in his position. Look, he should count uh, when when Zerg spawns. He should uh, count the queens, and he sees four queens. Four queens is not a threat for the carriers. You need like at least six queens. Very good. I like this. This is a very good thing. What you do? And now, my friends. You know what the Protoss can do in this situation, he can run. Okay, I mean, I see. This is some creative gameplay, my friends. I mean, I mean, if this game was serious, yeah, I mean, probably Starlock is playing serious here. Uh, yes, he is. It uh, looks very, like, solid. Like, uh, I would for sure transfer to Carriers, my friends. If I was Protoss here. And this would work. Like this, queens. Yeah, void risk. Okay, I mean, let's see. Yeah. Uh, I'm f yeah, I can tell you. Zerk is gonna win. He is not going to sell. It was probably some trying out trying out something new and yeah I mean many people have no balls to try out something new because they are afraid to look like a fool you know and because usually when you try out something new then usually you look like a fool and then people think, ah, you are noob or something like this, uh, that uh, it is easy win and stuff. Uh, but I like to try out something new as well. But here, unfortunately, I can tell you straight, this is not going to work. We can... It's interesting that the Elemento is sending me this, uh, you know, two, loss two losses. Maybe I should also uh, think about uploading some games where I lose and look like a f fool. He doesn't see the DT probably, or... No, he, he's not seeing it. Or he, he sees it and uh, doesn't care probably. Yeah. Well, what can we do here? Nothing. I mean... What? Xalaya Testak Ogralim. Okay. Yeah. See, see my friends this is yeah this is, this is the thing when uh one guy is playing like you know creative and trying out something new then the other guy is playing serious then usually the outcome is yeah that uh yeah, yeah like this yeah i mean yeah 
as I, as I, as I said, uh, when, for example, uh, Elemental was with his stalkers here, he could easily, uh, you know, if he sees that uh, Starlock is selling roaches, lynx, buying uh, brutes and uh, queens, he could easily sell everything. Like, let's go back. I mean, we can, you know, finish the game quickly and then let's go back to calculate. Like, he has, yeah, he has no chance here. Yeah, GG, close game. Um, what was? I need to go to mathematics a little bit. So what what he have? Was it here? Okay, let's say it was here. Okay. Ah, uh, you know what? I just gonna. 15 minutes, okay? It was good. Here, yeah. okay, 15 minutes. Okay, he builds a. Uh, uh, Voidress, yeah, come on. Yeah, okay, Voidress, okay. So here we go, my friends. So we have tier 2, okay, we have no tier 3. So let's calculate a little bit to imagine could Starlock do something here with his uh, nine queens versus transformation to carriers okay so we take out uh, calculator mm -hmm. we have uh, 25 stalkers okay maybe i should write it like here 25 oh god 25 stalkers um uh multiplied uh, by one to five this is the cost of the stalkers and multiplied with uh, 0 0.7 because you get 70 percent and this is quick mathematics my friends this is the calculation of what money you get from selling these stalkers 2187 okay let's say two one yeah eight eight okay okay then we have uh let's say he wouldn't build this this is uh i mean he wouldn't build it at all 300 multiplied with four uh this is 1200 this we don't need a calculator um so we just uh um so we would have 3387 uh -huh. so this is the amount of minerals what you have here okay If you sell uh, stalkers and if you wouldn't make void race. I wouldn't upgrade uh, shields to be honest. So let's say um, yeah, plus 150. This is uh, 3.5. 3, 5. 5. Three seven. Okay. I just uh, plus one hundred fifty to the sum before, and now we need to make minus four hundred fifty because of tier three. Yeah, this is um. Yeah, 
yeah this is not a not a lot to be honest yeah this is uh this is this money what you have so let's divide this money uh to 590 because this is the cost of one carrier and you could afford five carriers You know, I wouldn't sell it here, to be honest. Um, yeah, I made a little mistake. I would sell it when you... This this you need to react very fast. You need to react, react like here. When uh, Zerg hasn't. Uh, the best, uh, the most effective uh, uh, transformation of Protoss from Stalkers to Carriers is when you transform before Zerg is selling everything because then if he sells everything like roaches and links and goes uh, queens then he can stack two wave of queens and then your carriers will be less effective you know Okay, never mind. Fact is, if you go uh, transform carriers in this situation, then you would win. Because I've had the situation many times. I mean, not many times, but uh, this is very obvious that it is very strong against Zerg. Because your Broodlots are useless. And... Yeah. You can force the Zerg player to do Queens and uh, Corruptors. If he does Corruptors, you go Scouts. So you need a lot of Queens. And that is the key. So the question is, can Zerg win Protoss without the Brutlots? Because Brutlots... I would, for example, try to force, uh, yeah, my strategy would be to try force as a Zerg player to, or the Protoss player, to stand on the ground, to not allow him to transform into carriers. And therefore, you need, like, to use these brute lots. Here, brute lots are useful. Here, in the situation of transformation from stalkers to carriers, brute lots are useless. If the brute lots are here, Protoss cannot transform from stalkers to carriers. Because if he does, he's dead in one second. Elemental versus Starlock surprise. Fuck and surprise, okay. Okay, my friends. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy. Oh. Feed your mind with positivity and eat healthy. Because you are what you think and you are what you eat. Thanks for watching. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.